hello everyone welcome back to the channel and in this one we are going to see the full breakdown of this zombie comp script which i recently uploaded to show you the power of the smart vector and how to use smart vector with grid drop tracker now we are going to see the full breakdown how i patch uh, this map and this one and we will see the full step by step process so let's get started okay, so as you can see this is the uh, full uh, script layout as you can see from top to bottom so let's go on the top first so as you can see in the top i have this input section uh, in this one uh, i have this uh, original footage and the denoise one always make sure uh, if you comp anything you you need a denoise plate uh, if your plate have a noise a noise plate here and the denoise one here and uh, in the bottom as you can see i'm adding some shuffle so this shuffle i created a channel called denoise plate and this one i'm taking the a input and creating i'm taking a, a input and creating a plate uh, so i'm using this one as a plate and this is a frame range so i'm using i'm not using the entire frame range of this footage so i'm using from 50 from frame 50 to 166 so the total frames i have is double one seven as you can see and if you if i show you the layer as you can see i have a d nice plate and the plate why i created because in the end uh, we have to regrain this footage so that time we are using these two shuffles to shuffle out the plate and the d noise okay so and in the bottom as you can see i'm uh, directly plugging this plate and creating a smart vector uh, you can you can connect this one to denoise also but uh, I, I connected this one directly to the plate in my smart vector as you can see the vector detail is one and i am render this one out and make sure you make sure you always render your smart vector so as you can see i render out the smart vector and then i'm using this one here and here are some experiments you can check out you can check out in that tutorial uh, how to use smart vector smartly so in that one i covered this this part also go to the bottom as you can see in here i have this first patch which is this uh, leg one here as you can see i downloaded this image from the internet this one and and this one so what i did first here uh, we don't have alpha so i roughly draw a roto and uh, and then i premote here and before uh, i have this distort node so this is basically i created a uh, tool set which is if i go inside which is basically using a noise map and using a eye distort as you can see now i distorted this one and then i premote this one and the basic i did a, a re reformat and transformation to align this one on the leg and and as you can see this part also and i put it this under so i have this patch here and then i do an unpremote and i'm doing a color grading for to match uh, with the footage as you can see and the main thing i'm using here uh, is uh, this, this is the another tool of mine so it's basically making the normals from your uh, 2d image and then i'm using this normal rotate uh, to get uh, get this mask and uh, if I show you the pre mult result here and if I disable this one as you can see uh, we are basically uh, doing a relighting here 2d relighting so if I show you this one uh, if I show you this one directly plugging to here and if I disable uh, this motion blur and all that stuff So as you can see, this is the patch uh, without uh, without uh, this uh, defocus and the motion blur. As you can see, the relighting it's matching the direction of this footage. So that's why I do a relight, and it's on this one. We will we will see the step by step this one. So and then I'm adding a black match also to match the black of this footage. Uh, so here we have this grid of tracker using the smart vector so i adjusted in this adjust grid a lot to match the proper match move and uh, in the bottom i have this roto which is basically i'm cutting uh, this one based on the leg as you can see if i show you here so if i disable this roto basically i'm stenciling uh, anything going out outward i mean in this cloth part so i'm disable i'm cutting this one out and i'm using a match move here and this match move is coming from uh, this uh, this grid of tracker i covered this part also in that tutorial so you go and check that out first okay. and uh, after this roto i have one pipe going in this side which is i'm basically uh, doing a blur and putting this constant under and i'm multiplying this one here so i'm basically darkening this skin part a little bit because we have this patch uh, and in this in this pipe i'm now adding a defocus here i'm using a convolve node and we have this bokeh builder 
from that nuke, nuke survival toolkit and i'm adding a little bit blur and the transform and this convol this convol is basically uh, you can add a uh, overall defocus uh, with the filter option and to control the size of the bokeh you need to add a transform and it will need to scale down or scale up this bokeh so it will increase or decrease your defocus and then i'm using the same transform to adding a motion blur so in this one i'm using a motion blur 2d which you can use to generate a motion layer so as you can see i'm outputting a motion layer uh, so if i go i view this one here and if i go to that we have this motion layer and then you can use a vector blur to add a motion blur and then i'm adding a remove to remove the motion channel and the forward channel so making your script uh, optimized and as you can see i have another pipe going here in this direction which i'm uh, blurring this one here and i'm using my tool uh, so this is a my tool edge edge blend and i'm using this one to blend uh, this one with the transparent pixels so if i merge this one directly then you will see the uh, what is happening here so as you can see so this is the before and this is the after as you can see it's blending very much it's blending very much uh, it's blending very good as you can see and after this one uh, I, I created one channel over here which is called the leg hit and this one another here uh, the leg the di leg hit so this one if in the in the downstream we have to use uh, this patch in to blending and some other stuff we can use this one and this uh, layer we are creating for the di mat and as you can see this patch is done now and in the bottom here so now let's uh, uh, enable this one and let's enable everything and let's uh, check out this one uh, let's check out uh, the eye so disable this one also yeah so as you can the the, the same thing uh, i've downloaded some images from the internet so this is the eye i'm using and this is the another pattern i got it from the internet so the same thing uh, i did a roto first of all the eye and uh, the transformation and little bit of color correction and uh, i created a shuffle here again for the eyes as you can see and the same thing i'm doing for this patch also i'm aligning with the eye as you can see and blurring this one and masking so as you can see now i have this one this pattern here and uh, this is uh, multiply for that roto because i uh, remove this one from here so this is the layer part and same th and the same thing is going here so i have a two two sets of layer i'm using this one twice because uh, for left and the right eye so as you can see left eye and right eye the same thing i did from did here the same thing is apply here also and this is a layer management you can check that out uh, uh, basically i'm uh, shuffling out uh, the eye layer and merging with this one to add that alpha and adding back here so if i go to the people as you can see we have alpha and before see our di mat i'm uh, using this one to create a di mat and uh, if i view here now we have this uh, di mat as you can see in the in the green channel and this one in the blue channel so in the same thing we are doing a match move here and in here we are using this using a bg uh, to blend this one so if i show you this one i'm using this bg and multiplying this one directly so now we have this bg color as you can see using i'm using this on the board and the same uh, motion blur trick here and and then and but here we i'm not adding a deep focus because it's already good and as you can see here i'm shuffling out this uh, people layer and multiplying this one the, with background as you can see this background i'm multiplying this one with background and then i'm adding over so it's taking the background color as you can see automatically and the same thing uh, i'm here adding i'm adding this luma here to just add a uh, because as you can see this is this alpha is not correct because my rgb is look like this so i'm adding a, a luma here to replace the alpha so if i show you this is alpha if i view from luma here so this is the alpha now so it will merge properly with the background so and then i'm adding a, another shuffle to make a eye layer okay so now if i view from here as you can see if i disable this luma here you will see so this is the difference so i need this blending okay after that uh, let's enable uh, this main crack layer so if i enable this one now you will see so this is the crack and let's see how i how i make this crack so same thing i got this image from internet so as you can see she have this very nice face crack and all other stuff but i took this one 
so let's see how i did this so i'm adding an expression here to add alpha and i'm doing a blur and the minus one and and uh, basically i'm doing a frequency separation uh, just to remove the hair as you can see if i show you this one and this one on the last frame so as you can see so as you can see i'm basically doing uh, I, i'm basically removing the hair which is uh, overlapping this crack as you can see with the, with the frequency separation as you can see it's removing all here and uh, and then uh, and then i'm doing uh, the same thing i'm doing some uh, i'm making alpha as you can see i'm making the alpha for this one and then remolding this crack uh, because it's looking very flat as you can see that that's why uh, what i did here so i made i'm making this alpha uh, first thing what i did i took a luma here and this roto uh, roto this for crack roughly crack rough rough roto and i'm adding a edge edge from alpha and i'm drawing another roto which is basically doing a stencil operation as you can see in this part and i'm doing a key mix i'm basically mixing two alphas we have one alpha is coming from the key mix one alpha is coming from the keyer and one alpha is coming from the roto and this is the this is the both is mixing here and adding a crop and then i'm adding here in with the copy node and pre molding this patch so now i have this patch and with this nice uh, rough edges which is uh, which is coming from this keyer and the main core alpha is coming from this uh, uh, roto roto layer roto node and uh, here uh, let me check what i did here and here i am adding this uh, as you can see in this one we have this patch and we have this blood is uh, falling down so i am adding this patch also in this one the same thing uh, as you can see the same thing i am adding this one separately and doing a transform and reformat to match the format and the position of that face and the same thing doing and pre melting and doing a color correction here uh, so in this one i am using a uh, luma to vector so this one also uh, converting your image uh, into uh, normal pass as you can see and then i'm using this my uh, tool which i created uh, this is a simple uh, n mask which is basically giving you the pass then you can use to do a relighting and here some luma keyer and all that uh, some rotos to do a uh, uh, color correction as you can see uh, so if i disable everything uh, now you will see so this is before and after and in the end doing a black match and here i'm adding a little bit of distortion as you can see i'm adding this roto and adding my uh, distortion node so adding a little bit of distortion and adding a little bit blur because uh, this is very sharp so i'm blurring this one a little bit and and then the same thing uh, using a grid of tracker and here i'm using uh, the same thing i'm using this uh, footage okay and i'm using my edge blend tool as you can see i'm blending the edges these edges as you can see it's taking the background color so and, and i'm then copying the b box because i think the b box is huge so i'm copying the original b box to optimize uh, as much as i can and here i'm adding a motion blur as you can see uh, this footage is not uh, this girl is not moving that much but uh, just for the the proper comp uh, flow i'm add, i'm adding this uh, tracker Uh, which is always is coming from the grid dot tracker as usual and the motion blur setup and here in the bottom i created a layer uh, this face it and the di the same thing and everything is merging and here and then in the end when everything is merging you will see so this is the eye crack and this leg part is merging then i am doing a pre comp here so make sure you do a pre comp and in the pre comp uh, i set it the all layers and then i hit render so then i have the all layer di mat and the face it and everything and then here if i merge this one here and then i shuffle out uh, this face hit layer as you can see this face hit layer i blur this one add a little bit transform and using this to add a little bit of shadow on on her face as you can see and i am shuffling out this layer again and i am doing a grade to basically doing a eye distort as you can see little bit of eye distort and then i'm merging this one so if i disable uh, these two 
we will see this is the effect i'm getting because i need to add a little bit of shadow and a little bit of uh, distortion here as you can see it's not much but a little bit of distortion is fine and after merging as you can see i have this dm at copy so i'm copying the all the dm at layer into my b5 so now i have a dm at and i'm removing and i'm keeping only the dm at and i'm removing the all the layers all the other layers and i'm only keeping the dm at and in the bottom i'm adding one smoke layer in the fg so this is the smoke layer so uh, again doing a transform and i adding a noise a little bit on this one and doing unpremult here and the same thing i'm doing a blur and doing a multiply to add a background color into the smoke if i disable as you can see so this is a white smoke and now as you can see we have some background color in, in a smoke and then i have this ramp and basically i'm stenciling uh, this one so this is the ramp so i'm reducing this one i am making this here and reducing from here so as you can see so no i'm basically i'm doing a stencil so i'm removing from here and keeping it here and adding a match move so this match move is also coming from the grid dot tracker and i have a convol i am doing, doing a defocus and the multiply to reduce the opacity overall so i am keeping the point 3 here and uh, and i added a one, one layer for the smoke also in the shuffle and i am merging this one here so the smoke is very subtle if i show you see it's very subtle but when you play the video you will feel the you will feel the very small uh, small layer of smoke close to the camera and here i am removing everything so as you can see i am removing smoke uh, if you if you need you can do a comp with the smoke here and then you can remove here so i am removing the this channel and he, here we have a track qc uh, it's basically a match it's basically a match move but inverted that means it's a stabilized so i can see uh, this track quality and this face track quality and in the end i added some lens effect uh, in this one i'm not doing much of the lens thing so i'm just adding a one vignette keep keeping your focus into the center i want your eyes go to this lady lady face so as you can see little bit of vignetting and here we are doing a doing a regraining process okay so here i am shuffling this plate and the denoise plate and i'm using a dark grain to regrain this entire footage if i uh, zoom in uh, let's see if i zoom in here you will see this is without grain and this is with grain so this is uh, let's see. so this is the plate grain and this is our comb so grain is matching very well and here i'm removing the uh, everything and i'm copying the alpha from here i'm basically removing uh, the denoise plate and the plate and uh, then i'm outputting this one so as you can see so i'm rendering this one as, as a png but you can do a exr but as you can see this is now one to one so this is the whole script of this comp uh, if you need this script uh, you can check my patreon where you can download this one script uh, if you have any questions please let me know in the comment uh, which topic you want me to cover in the next tutorial and what uh, you want to learn basically please uh, specify uh, the thing uh, i mean don't say i want to do a tutorial about compositing because compositing is, is very wide topic so please uh, specify your topic and i will try to make a tutorial about this uh, thank you for watching and we will see you in a way next one